hey, welcome back, Dr. Dan of Dungeon, and the uh, ongoing saga of the 10 double E Monarchs. Uh, uh, late last night, I got back with the uh, the third one that I had uh, already committed to buy, sight unseen, and uh, got it in late last night, and uh, just got it off the trailer here a few minutes ago. And uh, so, just kind of doing my initial once over. I've got all the panels pulled off of it. And uh, so, here we go. Uh, so, this actually is a tracer lathe, and so it has a tracer attachment on it, uh, which I really don't know anything about, and uh, probably not really interested in uh, keeping that, so I will probably be selling that for anybody who might have an interest in it. Uh, I don't know what, uh, I don't even know what to ask. I think that probably going to be a, a trading thing. Uh, so anyhow, I'm going to step up here and uh, we'll take a look at what we got. So down below we got, uh, got a big transformer down there. Um, it's the, uh, the square jobby as opposed to the round dial. Uh, it does have a collet closer on it, which uh, I'm appreciative of. As we scroll around here, this one actually does have the full power train in it. Uh, I'm going to come back around to this other side. Let's take a little closer look at um, this um, tracer assembly. So it looks like uh, got a normal saddle, cross slide, and a uh, compound. Uh, but then it's got the additional stuff bolted on here. So it looks like this is additional and this is all additional. And then of course over here we have the actual tracer side of it. Uh, now it looks like um, it had some type of hydraulic uh, system that went with it. I, I really don't know. But there you got a couple of uh, centers and uh, this actually does work both sides and this moves it forward and back uh, and then it's even got a little compound on it. Uh, so anyhow, um, yeah I never got a chance to play with one of these. Uh, this obviously has does have the uh, coolant pump in it which uh, I'm excited about and then uh, it's got the tubes going there. And then, most puzzling of all is this mess, and I'm assuming uh, that a lot of that is for the tracer, uh, but I don't really know. If anybody knows, please please leave me a message, because there, there's a lot of spaghetti in there. All right, let's walk over and look at the other one. All right, so we're back over here uh, at the two previous ones. Uh, there you can see we got two brand new 7.5 horsepower three-phase motors. Uh, man, what a deal I got on those. I got those for $100 a piece. Um, so now I need to source a VFP for these. And uh, obviously I'm going to have to rig up some type of uh, motor mount, but that's, uh, that's not a big deal. I am a machinist. Uh, so uh, my friend Don and I have been cleaning these up, and this one's actually cleaning up really nicely. Um, so it is coming along very well. I'm real happy with it. And we spent a couple hours the other evening cleaning on them and Don came over uh, yesterday uh, before I got here and did another couple hours and that's looking really nice. So there's the other one and uh, got it mostly cleaned up. We still put probably an hour worth of work to do on that one. Uh, there's the tailstock for it. Uh, and then uh, the motor. So this one will be a little little bit tighter to shoehorn that motor in. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's plenty of room in there, but uh, that'll be uh, that'll be a little different project to do. Uh, but looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to getting at least one of these running and uh, doing some good stuff with them. Uh, 
there we go. Let's zoom out. Love the monarchs. All right, Doc D out.